Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to set up your Bluehost email account in Gmail. In a previous video, I showed you how to access your Bluehost email account in Webmail. So feel free to check it out if you haven't yet. So log into your Bluehost Webmail account. Click on this down arrow in the top right corner and choose Configure Mail Client. It will bring you to this page. Scroll down. And these are the settings you will need for your Gmail setup. Next, log into your Gmail account. Once logged in, click on the gear icon in the top right corner and choose Settings. In the Settings section, go to Accounts and Import. And in this Checkmail section, click on Add a Mail Account. In this dialog box, enter your Bluehost email address. Click Next, and then click Next again. Next, enter your username and password in the respect boxes. Under Pop Server, enter the information we got earlier from Bluehost. In my case, it's mail.ajgorina.com. Under Port, this should be 995. If you're going to use the SSL option, make sure to check this box. The other boxes are optional based on your own preferences. And finally, click Add Account. You'll get a confirmation. Next, you need to choose if you want to send mail as. You can change this later. I'll click Next. I'm going to leave this as is. And click Next Step. Here, you need to enter your SMTP server. Again, refer to the information you got from Bluehost. In my case, it's mail.ajgreeno.com. Next, enter your username and password. And for the port, I'm going to choose 465 for SSL and secure connection. By the way, this is as per the information from Bluehost. And finally, click Add Account. In this final step, you need to verify your email address. Essentially, you will receive a verification email in your Gmail account with a verification link and code. You can either click the verification link or copy and paste the verification code into this box. And that's what I'm going to do. And then click Verify. And that's pretty much it. You may want to send yourself a test email message like I did here. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.